Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a little quiz to see how compatible me and Justin is. Well, hold on, couple. hold on, hold on, man. Yesterday was Easter. Happy late Easter. <laughs> yeah, I forgot we didn't have a video come out on Sunday. Yeah, okay. What percent compatible are you with your significant other? Why do we have headphones on? <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. What does this mean? What percent compatible are you with your significant other? We could be like 1% compatible. Which what, means hold on, what are you, all. huh? They're gonna tell us the percentage we are compatible. Like, we could be 100% compatible. Or we could be like 5%. That means we're barely compatible. Okay. How compatible do you think we are? 63. I'd say 98. Actually, you're probably right, about 90%. All right, let's do this. It's your last day of vacation and you have different priorities. What do you do? Oh man, you read all the questions, the answers. It won't happen. We planned and budgeted so we can both be happy. Uh, we They had their way yesterday. Today is your day. Com compromise and cut a little time out of both activities to make it work. Uh, it's not the end of the world if you miss your thing. Not possible. We love doing the same thing. Wait, what are they saying? All they're right, acting all... like there's something going on. Okay. You want to do something and I want to do something. Is and that what our... they're saying? Yeah, and it's our last day of vacation. What do we do? I think we would both compromise and cut a little time out of both activities. So we could both... I feel like as if I really want to do something and you really want to do something, wouldn't we try and make it work? Or would you just want to make it your day? What if we have two different answers? We'll try. Usually it goes her way because I like to make her happy, so whatever. Or it won't happen. We plan and budget it so we can both be happy. We probably would have done yeah, that. Yeah, well, we wouldn't do just something pop up usually, so we probably planned and budgeted. You just had okay service at a restaurant. Your significant other leaves a bad tip. How do you react? I always tell the tips first off. <laughs> Add a few more bucks once they've left the table. That's out of the question. Bring it up in the car after dinner. That's after the question. That's out of the question. The service was meh. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Call them out at the table. That's not cool. You're okay. So they're talking like, I know there's another one. Hold on. Let me read the last one. You were a server and knew there are days off or off days. Okay. All the answers doesn't make any sense because I always tip a good amount and she's always like, what should I tip? How much should I tip? Well, say how much I tip reason, and then we tip. It's a bad tip. I, I say the service was, it, the service was okay. So, I mean... Oh. It's not that big of a deal to me. Wait, the service was okay? Yeah, you had okay, okay. service. Um, okay, if it's mediocre, then we leave a tip. Like a decent. But if you left a bad tip, what do you think we would do? Oh, we would probably bring it up in the car, actually. Bring it because up in the car? Because we're like, oh, I feel bad. I should have left a better tip. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they have to work late, but y'all... What? Oh. <laughs> y'all's y'all show is on. <laughs> okay. They have to work late, but y'all's show is on. What are you going to do? Alright, our show is on. But you have to work late. So what are we gonna do? Or what am I gonna do? Or whoever. Oh uh, well I know what you're gonna do. I'm not gonna watch it without You're gonna you. watch it without me. See this is what happens when we watch a show together. That's happened one she... time. <sighs> You do it once. She says, don't watch it without me. And then she goes, watches it all without me. No, you do it once. You always do it. Apparently. I'm not allowed to watch it without her, but she's allowed to watch it without me. That makes no sense. No, it's, like, it's like a race. Who wants to get ahead of who? We watched Dexter together, so I think we're good. You had no choice. Depends on how late. I gotta know what happens. No. I'm going to watch it, but I'll rewatch it with them gladly. Mm, that's crap. No, I would never watch without them. That is the greatest act of video. That is me. That is me. I'm sorry it happened once. It depends on the show. I'll shoot a text to see if they care. That right there no, is what I do. No, that is not what you do. I'll be like, hey. First off, we're always together. Second off, um, Jen starts, she just, I'm like, okay, you want to watch the next episode? She's like, no, don't watch it all. <laughs> no, no. You know what? I'm going to answer this one for me, but you don't have an answer. What? Oh. I would <laughs> never watch without them. That is the greatest act of betrayal. <laughs> While looking at your bank account, you realize your significant other... <sighs> Why? That's so long. Your SO hmm, made a big purchase without consulting you. What do you do? This doesn't usually happen. I mean, maybe I do it 
<laughs> but you do it she more doesn't than me. to me. Scream at them, come to you, explain, no. Calmly ask them what happened and ask them to return it, no. no. Wait until the right time to bring it up, no. Eh, you've done worse, let it go. Uh, Jen's like, ah, I'm going to do that. Wait until the she... right time to bring it up. We'll just talk about it, see? If we're I okay. don't think it's a good time, but then, guess what? I give it a one anyways. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Your significant other made dinner. Should you do anything in return? No, Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we take turns cooking, so it works out. No. Nope. Nope. Definitely, if they cook, I'll clean the dishes. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they love to cook, so I'll let them do it. No. We cook together. It's our favorite. None of these... None of these are true. <laughs> I guess they, they love to cook. Jen, so we I'll don't cook do much at all. That's why we're fat. Okay, so let's just go with they love to cook, so I'll let them do it. No. Well, no. I mean, I cook. I don't love to do it, but I cook. I love yeah, but... It. You let uh, me do it. We... Eat out more than we do anything. Yeah, so let's just go with that one. You okay. want an argument? <laughs> <laughs> and know you're right. Uh, how, how do is, you handle it? How do I handle it? See, I ignore her because she just ticks me off. Right. But anyways. Uh, Send them a funny text rubbing it in their face. Um, bask in the glory while you can. You never win arguments. LOL. Even if I'm right, I know not to say so. Let this day go down in history as the day you were right. That one right there, I feel like is. Wait, like, and know you're right. Everybody thinks they're right when they argue. All right, but when we argue and we know we're right, we do the last one. Let this day go down in history as the day you were right, and you always, we'll always throw it back to each other. I'm not clicking on that one. You, that's your answer. What was not your answer? Not my answer. They don't have an option. I have a paragraph description. <laughs> it's Sunday morning, and your significant other wants to sleep in. <laughs> that's me. I what like do you sleep. think? Somebody always, I'm. She never wakes up before me. Okay, so if you were sleeping, I would let you sleep. Wait, why didn't you read them the options? Well, okay, beautiful, lazy Sundays are the best days, or in bed are the best days. Let them sleep. You've got stuff to do around the house, which is what I do. Quietly slip away and take advantage of some quality you time. I did that too. Um, <laughs> Wait, is that, is you time sleep time? No, my, like, I, I leave the room while you're sleeping and I go do whatever I feel like doing, like watching TV or something. Um, it's fun, but it annoys you a bit since you're already up. Sleep um, in. Uh, well, see, I don't have really an option anymore. It's just like a, a normal thing. Uh, let them sleep, of course. Wait, you, you, you probably just quietly slip away. I would say I do that. Sleep in? You want to sleep in? No, you got to get up because we got stuff to do. I would say okay, you time. Okay, there's nothing here that says wake them up. No, but you like to like leave if I'm sleeping and you'll be playing Fortnite or something. So I say okay. you time. So quietly sleep yeah, away. Yeah, throw Fortnite in there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. You don't do stuff this around one? the house. <laughs> this one? I do do stuff. <laughs> next one. <laughs> this one? Yeah. I do stuff. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Every man says that. I play Fortnite. <laughs> Your significant other <laughs>, laughs at a joke you find offensive. What are you going to say? It's just a joke. I know them better to, than to think that they agree with it. She thinks everything's offensive. Call them on it. They're better than that. Uh, we have some different sense of humor. It's okay. You're not going to say anything and you definitely won't forget it. Um, I definitely will say something. Call them out. They're better than that. If I said something to you offensive, what would you do? Wait, it's offensive to me? Yeah, so say I say something uh, that's offensive. It's a joke, but it's offensive. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Call them out. <laughs> yeah. They got an offender bender. That, I've never been in a wreck. Oh, man. I've never even came close to a wreck. And she... We don't even want to go there. And the car needs repairs. Okay, so it's not that bad. Just, okay, first off, I wouldn't throw it in her face. I would never do that. But maybe later down the line, I'd, tell, I'd, I'd be like, Jen, look, you just screwed up here. You remember how many wrecks you've done had? Like six? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad. Just a little nick on the bumper. Totally drivable. Their accident, their expense. No, definitely not number two. Mm -mm. We have an accidents happen fund. Wait, what? Huh? We have an accidents happen fund. What is that? It's like... For whatever insurance doesn't cover. You have okay. money set aside. Yeah. You'll both chip in for the car. Okay. Ugh. 
I know. say it's not that bad, just a little nick on the bum. No, I wouldn't trip. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, you suck at driving. I'm gonna be like, all right, it's okay. But she'd be freaking out about her wreck. I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I would be less calm about her bringing my new car wrecked home versus her. You have a nice, cool... That is not you have a... Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> you love a nice cool room, but your significant other likes it toasty. What now? Oh, I like it cold. Um, there's a blanket called the Smart Duvet or Duvet, and that oh would be so smart. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that's... If your mom's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's dumb. They can get more blankets to get warmer. I think that's kind of... Okay, right, try to find a temperature you agree on. Play it by ear. If someone can't sleep, you'll obviously cater to them. <laughs> Um, try to win by saying it's more expensive to heat a room. I'd say just grab more blankets because I, like I would a cool too. room too. So. I like it cold. You just had a big fight. How do you resolve it? I know how she resolves it. She texts me a book. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. Give them their space and hope that time helps. I don't do that. I don't give you your space. You won't. That's so annoying. <laughs> try to talk it out. You don't like to drag out fights. Me. But you don't want to talk it out. So that's the differences. Leave me alone. Give me some time. You're the top one. I'm the second one. Apologize and hope it'll make things better. I do that too. Wait for them to cool down and say that you're sorry. I think I do that more. That is the bottom one for you. Yeah. Are there certain things that are okay to keep from your significant other? Mm, 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 mm. Absolutely not. Transparency is a key. If it would harm them more to know that not to know, no. yes, that is a definitely no. It really depends on the thing, but I would prefer to be honest. A little secret is at the end of the world. Absolutely not. Okay, so see these bottom three, those are bad bad answers and if you're out there thinking that's one of your answers very bad your relationship could fall tomorrow so i'd say absolutely not transparent yeah me too for sure what would your significant other say when they see your 401k ha! Uh, well nothing. you have a 401k don't you yeah but there's not much in there. <laughs> we need that money <laughs> <laughs> nothing too surprisingly we carefully coordinate ours what well, you're only putting in that much guys here's the issue they're talking like the the two keep their financials separate like i have twenty dollars you have twenty dollars although i do you have can... a separate 401k but no man. here's the thing if we both have a dollar and wait if i have ten dollars and you have one dollar we have eleven dollars no no see that that's how we are but yeah. these people are like you have a dollar you can't even buy a candy bar <laughs> i'm about to get a candy bar and a soda yeah, that's just not how relationships work to me. Yeah, um, for us, if you have a dollar and I have ten, we have eleven dollars together. We don't just separate our financials. Uh, so, nothing too surprisingly, we carefully coordinate ours. You're at their work party and don't know anyone. What are they doing? Laughing at, with their co-workers in the other room, introducing you to some of their favorite people from work, pointing out people to you from the corner, not sure they showed you the food and disappeared. <laughs> Um, I say second one. Yeah, probably. In introducing you to some of your favorite people. If you were introducing me to your co-workers, like, hi. <laughs> Jen, you ready to go? I don't like uncomfortable situations. You open a joint savings account. What is its purpose? To save for the future's kids' education? An emergency fund just in case? A big vacation, a nice new house. Ooh. Nice okay, so savings right. account. Let's see here. If we have a kid, um, then of course future kids' education will already have see, a house. See, no, you don't. I don't, I'm not going to open a savings account just for that. So, open it, well, actually, man, I don't know. Um. I could go into a long explanation on that, but let's just go with a nice new house. Alright. <gasps> oh. I, we're only 62% compatible. What I, okay, how is that even a thing? Because you didn't choose a question and neither did I. We, we kinda, only chose one answer we kinda, together. We, we try to agree on... Yeah, but here's the thing. At the beginning of the video, you can see I said 63%. You were right. Do you think we're not compatible? It's not us. It's their thing. Because okay. we both just chose one answer. Alright, so it says, You two have figured out what you both love and where your interests vary. You know that you're not going to agree on everything, which is quite alright. You much rather... Pardon, you would much rather have an intellectual debate over things you care about instead of constantly someone constantly saying yes. The unique qualities you both have make your relationship beautiful. Okay, this is stupid because I would understand it more if she chose one and I chose one, but we just chose one answer 
We Both worked together. We agreed on the answer. What is, us together. what is BuzzFeed, the uh, the as, compatibility masters? As a couple, they say we're only 62%. But I feel like we are stronger than that. Oh, so our joint answer yeah, is only 62% compatible with what? What are we compatible with? Each other. That don't make no sense. All right, I'm a little too tired. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm tired. We're, so. kind of, we're only half. No, we're very compatible. I Do you not something. understand? We do so much more than a regular couple. Okay, this is their little compatibility thing. We could always take a better one in the no, future. No, see, their answer, that's for um, textbook people that split their financial things together. Like, they... I don't even know. <laughs> anyway. No, see, here's what it is. The, they're basing it off of the regular people. We're not regular. This video was a lot of talking, oh, I'm tired. and I apologize for that. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and peace. peace.